People who provide care for loved ones and friends in their homes can often feel isolated and alone. They sometimes long for help and support for themselves. The Dockers Centre in Lochilped gives help and support to carers by providing a haven where people can meet and socialise with others in similar situations. I found this place and the people that come here a lifeline. What a relief it is to find that there's other people going through the same things as yourself. To find other folk who are anxious and uh, looking for uh, companionship, comfort and support because they're all going through something similar is just such a relief. I was very down, very low and one of the district nurses took me aside and said you know, you know, there's help out there, and I didn't know about anything. I just thought I was alone. But she's made friends, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> made lots of friends. Lots of friends. Good to have somewhere you can go and mm-hmm. talk to someone when you feel like. You see, any day, it doesn't matter yeah. when you come, yeah. you can get the support. There's always somebody who will support you here. Mm-hmm. I feel it's a place you can escape to um, and be welcomed and loved mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. get support from yeah. each other. But you don't see yourself as a carer because, oh, it's my, it's my son. Uh-huh. You know, oh, it's my husband, or oh, it's my wife, or oh, it's, you know. So you don't actually tell, you come here and you think, yeah, I am, I am a carer. If I need any advice, uh, it's mm-hmm. such like, uh, I know where to come to. It's a wonderful place, uh, it's Dorcas. Don't go through this alone. Try asking your local healthcare professionals about help and support for carers. It's definitely a haven. It's definitely salvation. (laughs) (laughs) We work with carers across Middergill, Kintyre and the Isles, um, giving them emotional support and um, guidance. We're the kind of middle person. If they come to us and we've got a carer's assessment that could go out and see them, uh, we're the kind of middle person that would coordinate their, their support, but we're the ones that look after the, the carers because they're that busy looking after the person they care for, so they often forget to look after themselves. You saw it in action this morning. They derive far more comfort from being together and talking together than Maggie or I can ever give them. The comfort is, der- is derived from a sense of you do know how I feel. You really do know. And no professional can put that on to the depth that another carer who's struggling can for another carer who's struggling. Sometimes you can have your day planned, but the person that walks through that door is the most important person to me when they come in, mm-hmm. that they're welcomed and they feel that they'd, they'd feel supported here. So the nurses, the doctors, the OTs, the social services, they may not be aware of a carer's centre, so they don't know. And this is one of the biggest things that came out of a piece of research last week on dementia care, that the lady, the doctor that actually conducted the research and has just published the paper, when asked on Radio 4's breakfast news programme, what was the biggest thing that you were surprised by? And he, she answered, the lack of knowledge of the professional carers about what was available locally to support the dementia patient and their family. I realised that everybody I met was absolutely delightful. They really want to help and they were happy for me to highlight the fact that there is a breed of people out there called carers and you actually are meeting them virtually all of the time but you don't know what to say that is going to bring a huge amount of comfort and support to them. Just remember the words, Carers Centre. And if you've got one, just tell them to go there because whatever the carer needs, they'll find it in their Carers Centre.